And there's a look at the starting pitcher tonight, Jesse Schultens. He's on for a seventh start, 21st appearance, looking for his second win, an ERA still very respectable at 379. Two and two to the opening batter, and that's a curveball that just drops in for strike three and one gone. Strike three, fastball from Schultens, two away. Some high heat on the outer third, and he throws it right by him. That's his four seam fastball. I think Jesse tonight is feeling pretty good about his stuff. A swing and a miss, strike three. Jesse Schultens, who just struck out the side. We head to the bottom of the first. Walnachuk making his 18th start. And as Mark Conte alluded to today, Bip, seeing him throw more strikes here recently has been the encouraging sign. Going to swing on shot up the middle, back a second, backhand by Gillop. Throws the first for the out. A good play by Gillop. On a ball that was blistered off the bat by Anderson, but Gillop makes it look easy going to the backhand side, one away. Benintendi, who had a big hit yesterday for the Sox. That was a pinch hit single to tie the game in the ninth. The pitch is hit in the air out in the deep right. Back on it is Brown. It's gone. Andrew Benintendi with his second home run of the homestand. And number four on the year. It's one nothing. Yeah, Andrew, for him, back-to-back -back games, back-to-back -back starts, that is, with a home run. And actually has two home runs and a single in his last three at-bats. He got a slider, was left up, and he didn't miss it, or a sweeper, let's say that, more, the, more so than a slider. Lawrence Butler will start the third inning for the Athletics. Rookie outfielder. Loops one in the center, and he becomes the A's first base runner. First base hit tonight for Oakland. Muscles went out beyond Elvis at second base. You know, he has one of those swings that it plays on this level. He can get inside the ball, and he's strong enough that right there you can fight it off. Here comes Butler. He'll tag and get there standing up. And it brings Ryan Noda to the plate. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Noda in his return to his hometown is 0 for 2. He's strand a man at third. First look at Corey Lee. In the batter's box, former first round pick 2019 out of Cal Berkeley. 3 2 pitch. That is taken. Strike three called at the knees. And down on strikes on a fastball goes Lee. 2 2 to Tim, and he rips a liner out in the left center for a base hit. It'll get to the barrier, and he's got a double. So a one out, two base hit for Tim. Tim loves lefties, and there's a sweeper. And here comes Luis Robert Jr. 1-0 Chicago. 1-2 pitch. Slider swung on and missed. Nasty pitch from Waldachuk down and in. Robert strikes out. Three Ks for Waldachuk. He's trans Anderson at second base after a one-out double. And now Rooker just missed maybe driving one out his first time. A fly ball off the end of the bat to left field. 3-2. Runner goes. Fly ball center field. Robert Jr. back at the track. Luis as always. Thelonious center field. Just waiting for it to come around. I love the fact that not only did he go back to the wall to make a spectacular catch, he also had the presence of mind to gun it to first base. He takes away a home run here. That's a no doubt home run if he doesn't catch this ball. At the top of his jump, he hauls it back in, robbing Rooker of home run number 22. Keeping the lead for the Sox and almost turning the double play at first base. What timing. Now Shea Langelier is trying to get the A's on the board here. First real opportunity. Here it comes and Langelier swings and drives one down the left field line. Benatendi going back. It's over his head and it's gone. Shea Langelier with a three run shot just over the wall in left field into the White Sox bullpen. And the A's have the lead. It's three to one here in the fourth inning. Boy, that was a frozen rope by Langoliers, his 14th of the year, and his third in his last four games. Andrews, the former Oakland Athletic, it's a 3-1 A's lead. Swing and a fly ball, well hit, deep left field, and it's going to go. Elvis just golfed one out of here. Dun, 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 dun. The conga line is starting right here as it went down, got the breaking ball, and get the White Sox one run closer, and solo home runs are good. Just keep the line moving. Number five for Elvis. Lee's going to end up at second base. Now he'll deal with Ben Benintendi, who took him deep in the first inning. He's one for two. 
center field. Butler charging. He's not going to get there. It's down for a hit. And Benintendi has tied the game a little earlier today. Same deal, though. We're even at three. Long fly ball. Luis took one, and now he drills one. 5-3, Sox. That was majestic. I mean, I'm thinking 460, 470 feet. He got his arms extended. He got the pitch he was looking for, and he hit it eight miles. Jesse Schultens delivers, and Rooker hits a deep drive left center. How far is that going to fly? And Roberts not going to catch that one. No chance. And it's 5-4, to four, White Sox. Rooker said, I've got to hit one where we know you can't catch it <laughs> to Luis Robert. And it's 5-4. to four. So here's Langler as he's popped out and homered. 5-4, White Sox. That's hit to left field. Chasing back Benintendi. He's at the wall. Tie game. Langler. It's a two home run night. It's Oakland five and Chicago five. <laughs> love it. I love it. Big night for Langoliers right there. It is a launching pad tonight. Two out base runner here in the top of the seventh inning for Zach Geloff in a 5 5 game. Oh, and he hits it hard to left. Benintendi back and Benintendi watches it go. Zach Geloff. With his 10th home run. It comes with two outs and no to aboard, and the A's are back ahead 7 to 5. Move over Mark <laughs> McGuire. <laughs> Zach Gilloff in his 35th big league game has hit his 10th home run. Four home runs for the A's tonight. So here's Tony, and one for three. And he hammers one down the right field line in the corner, and that will go for Tony Kemp, number four. And the A's lead it eight to five. I'll just let that soak in for right now. Just let it soak in for you guys at home. Let it soak in. And then I'll tell you this. Last night when we got to the hotel, his wife and his new baby was here. Uh oh. And he was just dad strength. Trevor May. And he has 13 saves now, which is more than his entire career. That's in the left center field. Back is Butler with room and he will make the catch. And this game is over. The Athletics opened the road trip with a victory on the south side.